Justin Duick, number 35. My hometown is San Jose, California. Uh, I have to say one of my favorite book series uh, had to be Chronicles of Narnia. Um, just something I, I loved reading growing up and uh, love C.S. Lewis as an author. Yeah, this is, this is what I want to do. Um, when I leave Davis and uh, done playing ball, you know, I want to settle down in a firehouse and uh, be a firefighter and save lives and, um, you know, have fun, work hard, and do, do what I love to do. Yeah, reading helps with a lot more than you'll think. Uh, it's communication, it's uh, comprehension, it's understanding, it's just getting your brain to think a little bit, and uh, it helps you to develop a, just a mindset that'll gear you towards learning things, and it, uh, it's a good way to just relax too. And, uh, I mean, re reading is beneficial in all areas of, of your life. So growing up, uh, I always, I'm an adrenaline junkie kind of guy, so growing up I loved doing anything that got my adrenaline going, uh, riding and racing bikes and downhill and uh, doing stuff, just anything, you know, there's big waves at the ocean, you go out to the ocean with a couple buddies and uh, have a bonfire or something, and just, you know, working, working on jet skis, doing stuff with jet skis and boats and on the water. Um, I just, I loved, uh, I, I still do, I just love uh, pushing my body and seeing what it can handle and, uh, kind of carries over into basketball a little bit on court. I just love working on stuff. Uh, I started with Legos. I love Legos. Still do. Uh, actually, for my birthday, I got a couple Lego sets that I finished that day. And uh, Christmas, I always get Legos. Um, but I carried over then to engines, uh, my truck. I love working on my truck. Um, I, my friend had a broken down jet ski. And his, his deal was, if I can fix it, I can uh, have it till I leave for college. So. I ended up rebuilding the jet ski and I did some work with the carburetor and uh, some stuff in the engine and uh, yeah, got, got it working and had it for a solid like eight months of, with a you know, brand new jet ski pretty much, so that was fun. And, um, I just love figuring stuff out and that'll kind of carry over to firefighting and um, just working with my hands there. I think my biggest influence has to be my grandfather, my, uh, my papa. Um, He's in Colorado right now, uh, but just him growing up, he's, uh, him and his wife were missionaries down in Brazil and um, kind of traveled up and, you know, I mean, God's always been a huge part in my life, so seeing his, his love for God and everything with that has just been huge and uh, huge, uh, huge in my life and I look up to him and he's still climbing uh, the 14ers in the Rocky Mountains and he's, he's 71 now and he climbed one, yeah, he's just climbing one next, next week, he's doing the running Pikes Peak, just just for fun next weekend. Um, so just seeing his attitude, his go for it attitude, and just his love for life and for people and for God is just very uplifting. My advice to you guys um, definitely would be just just learn how to balance life a little bit. Uh, my dad always told me just work hard, play hard. Um, so it's in the classroom, it's uh, at home to get homework done, it's doing chores, it's whatever you're doing, it's working hard. Um, so you can play hard, and that play hard part is just impor as important as working hard.